musicians from different backgrounds. It's the diversity here is just amazing. Um, even for myself being from a different culture, but coming here to see how everybody's able to gather and just be open-minded, open-hearted to everyone's music and traditions, cultures. It's, you know, to me, it's like, you know, it gets emotional because you, you know, first you're talking about the love of God and being all these people together. such a joy to see people who are, are so on fire you know it's not this this group of people is something that you don't run into and in almost anywhere else not that I've experienced really and everybody here is on fire um, in their own way for for their faith and for their music and it's it's such a blessing to see this talent and and, and the way it manifests in the different people that are here It's such an array of music. It's, it's uncanny. I just found out we have 300 songs to choose from. It's still a, it's an adventure because we're getting to know there's more, it's all these different countries, and we're doing their music and making a difference in other people's lives. Even if it's just while they're here, it still makes a difference. And that's a lasting difference that you can carry with them. Uh, we were really excited to learn that there were these uh, musicians that come together um, and learn this music and present th this international music. Uh, so they, you know, we found out about them and we invited uh, some global musicians to come down uh, this coming May. And Sunitha, uh, the director of this event, invited me up here to Chicago because uh, I play a little bit of uh, guitar, I've been playing since I was a kid and I uh, sing. And I've just been blown away by the music. It's been wonderful. worship leader where I am and I love to explore worship and reconciliation and this event has been really transformative in opening my mind up to new worship experiences and people around the world really that are doing the same things and it's been really refreshing to meet people who have a mindset of missions and uh, music and worship in a way that is more holistic in its approach and uh, how people are leaning into even the new and uncomfortable and unfamiliar moments has been very encouraging and empowering. I think it's really valuable especially for a diverse community um, like this gathering to have that time and space to really sit in honest conversation about you know, what does it really mean to be who we are and how do we be together even in our differences? And what can we learn from each other? How do we listen to people who have a different perspective than we do? How do we share honestly and openly about who we are um, and be in community in that kind of way? I think in order to reach this higher level of peace in the community, you need to meet with the individuals and, and get to know them, who they are, where they're coming from, where they're standing now, so that we can build up as members of the community as a whole. Because without diversity, we have nothing. Last night I called my husband and I told him that my face hurt because I was smiling all day. <laughs> I really did smile all day. Um, there's so many great stories and the people here are so genuine and kind and um, there's this amazing energy that you don't get to experience in everyday life. In globalization you have created a space that people will find their own identities, affirm their own identities by way of our own ethnic musics, 
uh, which can contribute to the richness of worship. Uh, that was very touching to me and this music which I am concerned of, uh, passionate about, well you have created a space for that too. Oh God.